The 30th of May was a very special day in Derby's railway history. It marked the 175th anniversary since the opening of the railway line between Nottingham and Derby. To mark the occasion, East Midlands trains laid on a special train. As had happened 175 years ago, passengers were welcomed to the station by a brass band, with station staff in period costume. There is still much in evidence from all that time ago, such as the Roundhouse, which is now part of Derby College, and Platform 1, which is still supported on the original stonework. Back when the railway opened, the only way it was recorded was as a newspaper article. This time around there were TV crews and press with digital cameras to record the event. The Mayor of Derby, Mr Farid Hussein, was greeted by East Midlands Train's Head of Media and Public Affairs, Emma Knight. Whilst the invited guests enjoyed a spot of lunch, there was a photo call for the East Midlands Train staff who were in period costume, including the Managing Director for East Midlands Trains, David Horn. With just about every conceivable photo and interview captured, it was time for speeches and the plaque unveiling. Okay, good afternoon everybody. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Um, it was 175 years ago today, at uh, just about 12 o'clock, uh, when a crowd gathered outside Nottingham Station uh, for the opening of the Midland Counties Railway, um, which uh, on that day opened between Nottingham and Derby. I'm very pleased that today we're welcome, welcome to the Mayor of the City of Derby, just a bit of background in terms of the Midland Counties Railway. The Act of Parliament to open the railway was passed on the 21st of June 1836 and uh, it was one of eight railways that actually had parliamentary powers that day. Uh, to give you an idea of the number of railways that were opening at that time. Construction began almost immediately, and the shareholders of the railway included the Prime Minister of the time, Viscount Melbourne. Uh, the line took just under four years to build, and uh, it was opened on Thursday, the 30th of May, uh, when special trains ran between Nottingham and Derby uh, for uh, directors, shareholders, and friends of the company. Uh, it opened to the public uh, on the 4th of June, 1839. I'm very pleased that today we've been joined by uh, representatives of many of the Derby Mail businesses. Um, there's over 120 railway-related businesses in the Derby area, uh, employing over 25,000 people directly in the rail industry and supporting uh, many more. It's the largest concentration of railway-related businesses anywhere in the world. Uh, in and around Derby. And it's great that many of our friends from the Derby and Derbyshire Mail Forum uh, can be with us uh, today. And I'd now like to hand over to Justin Paint, the area director of the Network Mail in Smithlands. Thank you, David. Uh, good afternoon to you all. I'm just going to say uh, a few words. I think David has almost um, covered it all. But um, yeah, so 175 years today, the railway first arrived here in Derby, and, and today still very much um, uh, a thriving part of the dance history, but also its current, um, its current, its current business, the businesses as we've heard, you know, the collection of uh, small to medium sized businesses that support the rail industry here in, in Derby. And so we look back 175 years and then I look forward for the next five years and think, um, you know, we have got a significant investment here in these Midlands, uh, over 1.6 billion pounds worth of investment. Uh, that's a huge sum of money. We're upgrading the middle and main line, uh, we're electrifying, we're improving line speed, we're creating more capacity, uh, more seats for a uh, cleaner, greener railway uh, through to 2019-2020. So, for me, I'm delighted to be here. We're looking back 175 years, but for me, we're just looking forward for the next five years and uh, all of the work we've got to do to, uh, to improve the railway from the, the heart of these Midlands here in Derby. So, thank you for joining us today, and uh, I think we're then to uh, get on to the ceremony now of uh, unveiling the plaque. Thank you very much. I'm uh, delighted to have been asked to unveil the plaque which uh, marks the first uh, train journey from Derby to Nottingham. 
I, I think it leads us to say Gabi has played, the railways have played an important part in the lives of Gabi people. And you only sometimes realize the value of something and how close of it is to people's heart when the existence of that whatever is in the you is under threat. And when uh, the, the railways train making future uh, in Gaudi was under threat, how Gaudi people expressed their feelings about it? And how they went about on the campaign to make sure we have train making capacity in Gaudi for our future generations? Because there's hardly a family in Derby, which has historically not had some sort of involvement with train making. Somebody's son, somebody's daughter, somebody's son-in-law, somebody's father. In the past, emotionally, they have been attached to working for making trains. And the skill levels which we've got, my understanding is that we are uh, amongst the top 5% train makers in terms of efficiency, design, and what we can do here. And those are the words of the president, who I had a big chat with. The president, uh, uh, I can't remember the name of, but the president for Europe and Asia. And he gave us very reassuring words that uh, the train making future in Derby is, is, is really safe for some time to come. So I'm definitely delighted to have this opportunity to unveil this plaque. And with those words, I think I'll go ahead and do that. Thank you very much. With the commemorative plaque unveiled, there was just enough time for some more photos to be taken as well as some interviews before everyone boarded the train. The train departed Derby almost to the exact minute that the original train 175 years ago had departed Nottingham. With Derby left behind, commemorative tickets were handed out on the train. It's a commemorative ticket for the journey from Derby to Nottingham celebrates 175 years of rail. There you go, sit back and do enjoy the journey. Yet more interviews were captured as the train sped its way across the East Midlands towards Nottingham. This is Nottingham. The train arrived on the newly refurbished Platform 7 where the Lord Mayor of Nottingham, Mr Ian Malcolm, greeted the Mayor of Derby. The front of the train was sporting a 175 Midland Counties headboard, which was quite fitting. Nottingham Station was in the final stages of its £60 million refurbishment, and so the opportunity was taken to show the invited guests around. If some of you would like to join John, um... He is the fount of all knowledge, I have to say, so if there are any questions that I don't know, he will. But if you'd like to join John, David and me, we'll take you around the station and show you the new facilities that uh, customers will be able to enjoy from Monday. So the new part the large archway, uh, which was recreated in the old style of the, the old station building. There's also toilets, waiting areas, retail units. Um, we've got this new canopy in and resurface this platform. Um, which we did last summer. Everyone gathered in the ticket hall where their predecessors had done so all those many years ago. Uh, we've got it all structurally sound and then we've cleaned all the internal brickwork and we've got three points and repaired it in place uh, and restored all of that for it back to its former glory. Whilst the two mayors had their photo taken by the managing director of East Midlands Trains, the guests mingled and networked in the restored surroundings of the station building. So the guests made their way back onto the platform through the Edwardian Great Two listed building. While some enjoyed the refreshments in the first class lounge, others looked on at the BBC news crew who were doing a piece to camera. With everyone aboard, it was time to depart. The Mayor of Derby got a privileged driver's eye view on the way back, and before long we were going through Trent Junction, the line to the left going down towards London and the line to the right going towards Derby. Yes, yes. 
Back in 1839, the train reached a top speed of 30 miles an hour. Today, the trains go a lot faster. We'll try and get up to 100 for you. Here we are, great speed of 100 we're allowed to do. We're nearly getting now. I mean, we're doing 70 miles an hour now. It doesn't really feel like it. No, it no, no. Is it? So there we are, we're at 100, so we're now going to have to start braking. But it feels good for us. Yeah. But what that instruction is, it was in platform 4. Yes, uh, tickets for uh, with charges to get off the train, not get on it. Oh, right. Is this ticket not cancelling? <laughs> on arrival at Derby, everyone thanks the organisers for making it such a wonderful and memorable event. It is interesting to ponder what those pioneers back in 1839 would think of today's modern railway. Although we do not know what the next 175 years will bring, we can look forward to an electrified railway within the next five years that will bring a cleaner and greener railway to the East Midlands.